I'm Jessica Krauser, and I'm with Brian Baker. I'm still hanging out with you. And today is all about you. Oh, again? Again. This is like three times in a row. Well, everybody keeps asking about how you're feeling. I'm feeling great. Okay, so real quick recap. What happened? We're the end of June, we did the left side of my head. Well, brain. first of all, we're talking about deep brain stimulation. Correct. <laughs> DBS surgery, in case right. people didn't see that all episode. Right. Yes. So yes, DBS surgery at the Cleveland Clinic. Mm -hmm. At the end of June, we did the left side of my head, our brain. Then they do the right side in end of July, and then put the battery implant in the beginning of August. How is that looking, by the way? Can see it. Yeah. Is it has it healed? Yes. Or, oh wow. I don't know if you can really see it that much, but the scar it doesn't look it's as not, bad as I thought. Really, you can't really tell anymore. Um, and then, um, so it got turned on, ladies, it's all turned on, <laughs> I'm, all I'm all turned on for you. Um, no, it got turned on in the end of, uh, August and then I did, went back for my second programming, uh, last Monday. Wait, but so when they do turn it on, do they program you? Yeah, they program you. It's like a four hour session. You go in and they, <clears throat> you go in without medication. They kind of see what the parameters are, like how much amplitude they can put towards each side um test it out then they then you take your medication and then they test it again to see how while much. you're all there yeah okay how was that process it wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be but like four said, hours it, it was a little bit shorter than four hours the funny part was on the way home my medication kicked in more than it had while I was in the class. And so I guess I started getting really, really bad dyskinesia on my right side. My son had never seen <clears throat> anybody with real bad dyskinesia. So he's uh -huh. like, take a breath, take a breath. What's going? <laughs> like, he's like freaking out. I'm like, just hand me the remote and let me turn it down. So. Okay, so you you were turned on. You, the, the level that you were on was too high. For the medication. The medication that you right. took. Okay. So now it's a balancing act, like I said before, of balancing out how much medication versus how much stimulation. So how much medication are you on now? Did you get to back uh, off any? Yeah, so I'm down to one third of what I was on before. So I've, they've, wow. taken, they've taken two pills four times a day away from me. Okay. So what does that leave you with then? Just one pill four times a day. That's great. Yeah. So and they, they, they we can take that down a lower dose too if I, if I get to that point. So hopefully we'll do that too. But right now it's just, you know, like I said, I, I went for the second programming. Everything's going as smooth as it can go. Um, feeling good, feeling uh, a little bit like I used to feel before Parkinson's at times. You still have your good days and your bad days, just mm -hmm. like anything else. Sleep has a big impact on that, just like it normally does. So. But you said the other day, like, you almost, you have your confidence back. Yeah, confidence back. I think I told you, like, the kind of the Parkinson's fog that I felt like I was looking through life through is gone. Hmm. As soon as they turned it on, like, you just went, like, the... the what do you Cloud, mean? The, like the cloudiness that kind of clogs it. And, yeah. I, and I didn't notice, I, I didn't know I had it um, at the time gone. until it was gone. I'm like, wait a minute, why am I seeing so much more clear? Like, you know, why is my, my thinking coming back so huh. so much more? That's good. I didn't know that that would happen. I don't, I don't know that it was supposed to. I did not, when I talked to the surgeon, actually he ran into my surgeon after the second programming and I told him about that. He's like, nobody's ever told me that before. I was like, yeah, it's like... Just, hmm. Maybe I'm just special. Maybe. So what are some of the significant improvements that you noticed? Um, like I said, the, the fog, seeing things clear, thinking things a little more clear than I used to be, ability to drive and turn and, you know, not have to be able to look over my shoulder a little easier, um, those things, I guess. How is it with exercising? Because I remember when I first met you like three years ago, you you were good with exercising. And then last year, it's like you kind of, you were more rigid. Yeah, is I'm still working. Helping? So now I think a lot of it is is reprogramming the brain to uh -huh. do things. So I'm so used to freezing up when I'm trying to run in place or whatever, hmm. like stuff like that. You know, reprogramming, like, no, you don't have to, you know. Yeah. And it's the same thing you would do, same, doing the same things, you know, trying to break bad habits, I guess I should say. How long did they tell you that it's going to take to, like, test and... So, I mean, she was pretty confident that she had me in about the best place that she could get me. But right now? 
you know, when I left last week, mm-hmm. um, I'll, I, so she, I'm going to transfer to my normal neurologist or my movement disorder specialist. And I'm sure he'll tweak it here and there a little bit, but I think mm-hmm. we're pretty close to being where we want to be. That's good. I think so. How do you like feel? I feel good. Like I said, it, for the most part, I feel really good. Um, like I said, sleep still imp- impacts me if I don't sleep good, just like anybody else. Yeah. You know, but it, with Parkinson's, it seems to make a big difference. Um, so, but I've been sleeping better. I've been moving better. I've had a lot more energy. I just definitely am not taking, I'm not as lethargic or fatigued mm-hmm. at the end of the day, at the middle of the day or end of the day. So like That's I good. don't You're not need, sleeping I, under your desk. No, I'm not sleeping under my desk anymore. The George Costanza is, <laughs> has moved out. Is, is it what you expected? Is it better than what you expected? Um, it's not a cure and I got to keep telling myself that because I, you know, you get your hopes up and you get caught in this mm-hmm. never, never dreamland. Um, but it's, it's, it's what I expected. It's what I kind of, um, was told by Steve and Roz what to expect and other people that have had the DVS surgery. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I think I, I think I've gotten what I've expected out of it, um, you know, I think I think it can get a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're, we're going to slowly work and get there. What was one of your worst symptoms that you were dealing with most recently that you feel like has improved or hasn't? Well, like I would always talk about my foot, uh-huh. my toes raising, and I'd have, every morning I'd have to walk on the side of my foot because the, my big toe would raise up so much. Mm-hmm. Um, it basically, and I do I haven't had that happen one time since. Um, being turned on. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So now that it's happened, is it almost like you forget what it was like before that? Yeah, because it's like some like sometimes I'll think I'll you wake up in the morning you're like oh, I got to do that and you're like no it doesn't, it doesn't hurt mm-hmm. to walk on your normal foot yeah. your foot normally. Um, so you know it's like I said it's sometimes just breaking habits we've got into with the Parkinson's having the Parkinson's mm-hmm. like you know getting up in the morning and having that kind of little hobble in your step or shuffle mm-hmm. in your foot and it's like no I don't need to do that oh so how long um do they tell you to give it like with programming and you know tweaking I mean I think I think everybody says it's you know a four to six month period I think to after the, you're turned on after you're turned on I think um, you know, I think I'm ahead of the game right now. Um, I know other people have had significant issues with the programming. And part of it is, you know, so I don't have, I've never had the tremors really bad. I never really had a bad tremor. So, mm-hmm. so you know, sometimes they chase the tremor. Sometimes they chase the, you know, the dyskinesia. Sometimes they chase the, the, the stiffness and rigidity. So, <clears throat> so the more symptoms you have, the more things they have to chase down. Mm-hmm. So with me not having a tremor, I think that helps a little bit because they're not having to chase that, at least right now. Yeah. Hmm. Is your head still itchy? It is. I got my hair cut the other day and started itching again. I was going to say, it's like fully grown back in. You can't see that spot that you chopped off. No. It's good. Great. But your your eyes are watery, you said. Yeah. Is that I, like I, a... I don't think so. I think it's just the natural. Now you said something about my head itching. Sorry. <laughs> um, no, I think it's just... I, I used to get it too when I before I had... The eye you know, watering? Yeah, the eye watering. Because so. of dopamine? I don't know. Is that just oh. called eye watering? I, oh. don't know. <laughs> I thought you said something it had to do with that. No, the, the, the uh, so the, my optom- ophthalmologist said that, you know, your dopamines are, have, uh, your eyeballs have dopamine receptors in there. So, hmm. you know, your vision can be impacted by the okay. lack of dopamine, your body producing the lack of dopamine. I think the Parkinson's, what I've read before was you get people with Parkinson's get it because they, Move slower, so mm-hmm. they don't they don't seem to blink as much as oh. they, they, they used to. So I, I feel like I ch- blink. I feel like I blink a lot. I know. I gotta keep telling myself to keep blinking. I know. It looks like you're crying for me. I will. <laughs> Jessica made fun of me. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you're feeling better. Great. And it's it's um, you know, I, like you said, everybody everybody responds differently to DBS. So mm. you know, it's always still good to talk to your doctor, but um. No, it's been good. I appreciate everybody's uh, comments on the on the podcast and mm. interest, and hopefully we continue to have good results. Yeah, keep uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe. Mm. Brian loves doing that. That little subscribe button at the bottom. 
But uh, we like to have podcasts out every week, and you know we're done updating on this guy. Yeah, so. Su- submit your ideas, suggestions, any show ideas you guys would like to have. Yeah, we're we're open to it. We're open to hearing them. <laughs> so, but I'll still leave you with our last thirty seconds. The thirty seconds. Yes. Um, but no, seriously. Again, with DBS Deep Brain Stimulation, it's great to see Brian's progress uh, that we were able to track with him, and thank you for being so open about doing so over the course of the past few months. But if you or you know somebody who is interested, like always, do your research, talk to your physician, and see what's best for you. Every therapy, every medication is gonna affect people differently, especially with Parkinson's. Each and every one of us is different from the other. So do your research, talk to your doctor, and tune in to us next time. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.